In our last video, we looked at how to evaluate inverse trig functions when our side ratio, our x value, was either positive or zero. And we also looked at what to do when it was negative, but only with sine and tangent. Uh, so if you didn't watch that video, you may want to go and watch that one first. In this video, we're going to take a look at what to do for cosine when our cosine, inverse cosine ratio is negative. Uh, the reason we save this for a separate video is if you check out these shaded circles, uh, inverse cosine it has a very different shaded section. This time we're looking at the top half of the circle, uh, the first quadrant and the second quadrant. If our side ratio is positive, we'd end up in quadrant one, where all things are positive. But if our uh, side ratio is negative, which these examples will be, we're actually going to end up in quadrant two, which is not where we ended up with um, inverse sine and inverse tangent. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that will work. All right, so here is our inverse cosine uh, problems, and we can see that the side ratio is, in fact, negative. We should still start with that question, is, uh, are, are these values in the domain between negative 1 and 1? Uh, and yes, these both are. Uh, if not, we'd say it's undefined. So we begin this problem the same way we started those last problems. We'll pretend that this was just a positive square root of 3 over 2. So if I do that and look at my charts, uh, if I'm checking out the cosine column, there's the uh, square root of 3 over 2. If I read across, I can see that the angle we want is pi over 6. Well, uh, that's the angle I want, but it's not my answer. Really what pi over 6 is, is my reference angle. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with... Um, or, or uh, do what we did last time, we're going to take a look at those shaded circles. So um, since inverse cosine is negative in quadrant 2, as we looked at, uh, really what that angle we have is, is we have a pi over 6 angle drawn here in quadrant 2. So let me get that labeled, pi over 6. So that's all well and good, but what I really want to find is I still want to measure from the positive x-axis around to that angle because again that's where that inverse cosine circle was shaded so that's the angle I want to find well there's a few ways we could do this one easy way to do it would be if you have your unit circle just look for an angle that has a denominator of 6 in quadrant 2 uh, and if you do that, it turns out that that angle is 5 pi over 6. So uh, last time with inverse sine and inverse tangent, we just made our angle negative. You can see for inverse cosine, that's not the case. Uh, if you don't happen to have a unit circle nearby, here's another easy way you can find out uh, this answer. Recall that to go halfway around the circle would be 180 degrees or 1 pi. And so what we've done, or if we want to figure out that orange angle there, 1 pi would be halfway. We've only done uh, pi over 6, so if we take 1 and subtract 1 6 from it, well, there's where your 5 pi over 6 is coming from. And let's try one more just to make sure you've got the idea. So again, inverse cosine, that's kind of the, the nastiest uh, option we have here. Inverse cosine of a negative angle is kind of our most difficult option, I think. So uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll pretend it's just square root of 2 over 2, not negative. So if I check out the chart, uh, cosine, square root of 2 over 2, read back across, it looks like that angle must be pi over 4 they're talking about. So pi over 4 is my reference angle, not my final answer. And since our inverse cosine is negative, we're going to go ahead and draw it in the quadrant where cosine is negative, and that was this here, quadrant 2, based on those shaded circles. So the angle I know uh, is that angle right there is uh, pi over 4, but that's not the angle I want as the answer. What I want is I still want to measure around this way. Uh, and as we discussed, you can always just take 1 pi and subtract off that piece you found, uh, or look at your unit circle for uh, an angle with a denominator of 4 in quadrant 2. Uh, I like to just subtract it, though. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, 1 minus a fourth is going to leave me with 3 fourths, or 3 pi over 4 as the angle I want to get um, a cosine of negative square root of 2 over 2.